All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I like give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Mark Akadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, uh, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas Word, truthfully and sincerely. And I say, Shalom to the Akim out there. And the title of this lesson is going to be uh, Let the Weak Say I Am Strong, slash, you sure hear wars and rumors of wars. And in the news, um, two articles that I'm going to bring up to back it up with the uh, scriptures. And this is a sit down lesson for October 30th, 2021. On this uh, Sunday, and I'm bringing the article out, and uh, this is from us usnews.com. This is uh, published by Reuters on October 31st, 2021, and it says, uh, Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. I believe that's the minister of uh, Turkey. I believe says uh, Turkey, France, and Italy will take steps on missile defiance. It says Turkey president uh, recaps uh, the Thai it Aragon uh, arrives for the G20 leaders summit in Rome, Italy in uh, October 30, 2021. And the president of Tate beat Rega uh, said on Sunday that Turkey will take positive steps with France and Italy on the simple T missile defiance system developed uh, by the French Franco uh, Italian Euro Sam Consortium. It says Ankara, uh, which has incurred U.S. US sanctions over its purchase of the Russian S-400 missile defiance batteries and has also discussed in recent years acquiring or developing a system base of on the sample team but has not meant to say but has so far made little apparent progress. So lucky about that is, I guess it's reloading. So I'm gonna go back to the topic and continuing on with the news article. Uh, the president of Turkey was speaking to reporters uh, following the G20 summit in Rome, Italy, where he met an Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi uh, and French President Emmanuel Macron. So yeah, um, this was about, you know, uh, I believe, you know, uh, it makes sense too, because I think, you know, with NATO, you know, was trying to separate itself from uh, Russia, you know, cause uh, I guess uh, Russia got accused of uh, Turkey trying to uh, inquire about its, uh, you know, weapons and stuff like that, missile defense. And then Russia and, uh, and Russia got hit with the sanctions, just like much as uh, United States using sanctions on, uh, you know, using sanctions on uh, Turkey as well too. You know, United States is known for using sanctions on these other countries, and it goes along with this scripture right here. And this does make sense, because you know, uh, other these nations requiring missiles defense from other countries so well too you know and it continues for this to occur you know in the days that we are living in and this is the book of joel chapter 3 verse 10 be chirp plow shears in them into swords and plenty hooks and spears and let the weak say i am strong right so the weak say i am strong you know they doing the uh, uh military drills missile defense you know and everything like that so expect for the increase in these last days of uh, that we are living in. 
and expect to see these countries uh, like the scripture says that the way could say I am strong in the book of Joel 3 and 10 you know it doesn't matter how many uh, economic sanctions you do on these countries and everything like that but you know uh, you know that these uh, sanctions on the United States due to these countries and everything like that you know these nations gonna step up their military defense you know and these are the signs of the times that we're living in. I'm gonna break out another article as well, too. Okay, let me go to it. And this one is from, uh, let me go back in the wall. Salaki. Yeah, it does. Oh, my bad. Quite maybe doing a uh, video lesson. I said my bad. I'm doing a video lesson. Yeah, video. Yeah, like a video recording lesson. Oh. Yeah. Look. I need to turn it down. No, you, you let's do it. is from uh, uh, from another news article I will pump pump nik uh, news.com and it says uh, Biden news US will retaliate to Iran's hostility action including drone attacks on early this week the US Treasury started a fresh sanctions have been imposed against Iran's unnamed area vehicle program and its chief executive the US President Joe Biden said on Sunday that the US will respond to Iran's hostility actions including drone attacks Speaking at the press conference on the results of the G20 in Rome, Biden stressed that the U.S. reserves the right to respond to any action Iran will undertake. So, yeah, this, it does make sense. You know, uh, it was another article that I read that the United States trying to, the United States allies uh, trying to have, you know, uh, uh, force these other countries for Iran to uh, impose to the nuclear, you know, the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal, which is highly unlikely, because, you know, uh, you know, you can't really force these other countries to have Iran to get back to the nuclear deal, even if Iran do uh, follow along and, and, you know, and listen to what offer they have on the table. And, you know, Iran, I guess, gonna try to see if, you, you know, the United States is really serious about the uh, nuclear deal. Um, but I don't think this um, talks of the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal is gonna be any progress. Even if they have, like, discussions on this with the United States, with their allies and everything like that. But I just don't see any progress in, the, in uh, you know, in a nuclear deal with Iran, you know, and like the uh, president of Iran uh, stated when he first got inaugurated, I believe, over there in Iran, you know, the Iranian president said, you know, only time we can come to a full agreement and full good progress with the 2015 uh, revival of the nuclear deal and of the talks as well too, you know, uh, the United States gonna have to take uh, the sanctions off of them. Cause you know, uh, United States did another fresh of sanctions against Iran, you know, and that messed with their economy and everything like that. So it does make sense, 
you know, uh, Iran, you know, it's not going to be too quick to uh, <laughs> respond and might show progress on this uh, Iranian nuclear deal of revival of these talks. So, you know, the more economic sanctions the United States use on uh, Iran, you know, Iran is not going to accept this without them uh, unfreezing the uh, assets of their, uh, you know, economics. Because it, it do shows an effect of their economics base in their country and their uh, Iranian citizens as well, too. You know. So, continue on with the article. Um, it says... Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden said on Sunday that the U.S. will respond to Iran's hostility actions against including drone attacks. Speaking at the press conference on the results of the G20 in Rome, Biden stressed that the U.S. reserves uh, the rights to respond to any action that would uh, Iran would undertake. It says, regard to the issue on how we are going to respond on actions by, by them against the interests of the uh, U.S., whether they are drone attacks or anything else, is that we are going to continue to respond, Biden told reporters. Uh, this statement comes after the drone attack on, on and at the TNAF military base in Syria last week. Uh, the responsibility so I guess this is like the Iranian military I guess this is like the uh, pro uh, Iranian ally military back group that supports uh, allies of what Iran so so yeah it does make sense uh, for which this has not been claimed by any movement according to US media reports uh, citing enormous military officials Iran may have uh, funded the facil facilitated and encouraged the drone strike on the at the TNF facility in southern Syria where American troops are stationed. It says those uh, reports indicating that at least five Iranian unnamed area vehicles, the UAVs. Uh, packed with explosives were involved in the strike which allegedly targeted both the U.S. troops and Syrian uh, in Syrian opposing force. Biden believes the nuclear deal while exposing imposing sanctions. So yeah, the more uh, economic sanctions of uh, Operation Sanctions Joe Biden does that kind of push Iranian back on the nuclear deal so that kind of you know that kind of sums it up that the nuclear deal is out the window furthermore Biden said that a return to the nuclear deal will depend on Iran's action so really Joe Biden and the United States you know it had to depend on y'all actions as well too, not just only Iran, you know. As well as pressure from the U.S. allies, he also noted that such pressure could uh, include economic leverage for Iran to pay the economic price for refusing to return to the deal. It says Biden also had a meeting earlier with the leaders of the three Western Europeans joined compressive plan of action which is the JCPOA members of France Germany and the United Kingdom on Iran nuclear operations which according to the leaders represents a threat to the international security and it says uh, continue on with the article we came together to re reiterate our shared beliefs that diplomacy, diplomacy is the best way to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon and discuss how best to encourage Iran to resume a serious good faith in negotiations, Biden said at the press conference. In the joint statement issues after the meeting, the leaders expressed their determination to ensure Iran can never develop or acquire a nuclear weapon. 
uh, the leader share our grief and concerning concerns that Iran has accelerated the pace of proactive nuclear steps, and that's that nuclear uranium of uh, hypersonic missiles and developing missiles in Iran. You know, so United States and these other countries, they can't really uh, tell Iran or force Iran to do. Just like in the book of Joel 3 and 10 says, let the weak say I'm screwing. And you seeing that with these other countries like uh, Turkey, France, Italy, even though, you know, the United States got these allies, you know, they got nuclear capability as well, too. And the pace of correct nuclear steps after the whole halted negotiations on return to the JCPOA. It says, in their turn, European leaders held Biden clearly demonstrating commitment to the U.S. full of compliance uh, with the JCPOA to stay full compliance. So long as Iran does the same, the European trucker added that the return to the according was still convincible uh, and could be done quickly, which I highly doubt. It says on Saturday that Israel Defense Force shares a video of the uh, Israeli F-15 jet, I mean fighter jet, escorting a U.S. Uh, yep, I read this article uh, too about the United uh, B-1 bombs flying over the Middle East. The U.S. B-1 bomber through the Israeli skies. Because, you know, United States and Israel, you know, they're allies. You know, they still want to stay close with each other. Which was considered as an apparent demonstration of force to Iran. And that's when that uh, nation should rise against nation coming in along. In the book of Mark 24 and 7. It says, heightened ongoing tensions. Also, during the day, other Middle East nations joined the American bomber. And the supplies of... Uh, presence patrol in the Middle East skies just as the United States imposed sanctions against Iran on Friday targeting four people to organizations that the US believes are in charge of the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps uh, aerospace force drone operations in other countries and the Iran's foreign minister Lambasted uh, decision claiming that uh, measures of the contracted Washington promise of wanting to return to the JCPOA. The new measures are the most recent uh, series of more than uh, 1,000 imposed by the U.S. against Iran in recent years, and they come ahead of efforts by countries to resume the uh, stall talks of the JCPOA in Vienna, Austria. So yeah, uh, I was reading this article right here, you know, it shows, you know, the more uh, imposed sanctions uh, the United States use on Iran, you know, that kind of further backs Iran, you know, from the nuclear deal, you know. And it doesn't matter what the United States do, you know, these other nations are going to have their military capability and everything like that. Even if you do economic strategic moves on these other countries and allies with Iran, you know, these operations and everything like that, you know, you know, the weak say I am strong. And, you know, these nations are showing their military might and strength against Israel and the United States, you know. And uh, these other countries are definitely not afraid of uh, North America no more, you know. With the Iranian, they got their allies, with the Hezbollah over there in the Middle East, the Gaza script, you know, with the, uh, these other nations as well too. That's not really allies with America. You know, Iran, they got allies as well, too. You know, and uh, uh, Russia is part of one of them. So, and I looked up, uh, uh, Russia got the most uh, missiles in comparison to America. So, you know, 
And then, you know, the United States, they send a threat towards China as well, too, you know, um, of them going to defend uh, the Taiwanese people over there in the South China Sea if, you know, if, uh, chi you know, if China invades the Taiwanese people, you know. And just in case, you know, uh, that's why the uh, United States deployed troops over there and training and exercise and helping out the Taiwanese people. You know, these uh, other nations say like the rich side and strong. Here you are, you got China, Russia, Iran, France, Italy, India, Pakistan, you know, these other nations, uh, you know, they got military capability. So the United States is not the only country that got nuclear capabilities of nations as well too. And you could throw in North Korea and South Korea as well too. So, but other than that, um, that's all I wanted to bring up for this uh, sit-down lesson for uh, Monday, I mean Sunday, Salakia, uh, October 31st, 2021. And I hope this is edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Uh, 30 plus years, still going strong. Shout out to the Akim, sky through the four corners of the globe, uh, Christmas word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christmas word, truthfully and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shout out.